The walls of a school tell a story. A story rich with a history that spans the generations of students that have passed through its hallways. Who entered its doorways to learn phonics and addition, and left understanding literary analysis and algebraic equations. That is your grab. That is your hook. You want to start it it tells the story of teachers who start a career eager to change the world and retire years later, having changed the lives of the children they taught. A school building is more than architecture. It is something magical. A place where every dream is a reality. A place where wishing to be an astronaut, a policeman, the president, a lawyer, a mechanic, an actress, an artist, a teacher, or anything you want to be can come true. A place where blank canvases have the opportunity to develop into their own artwork, where students mold their own destiny. When I get out of college, I want to go into culinary arts because I want to cook for people and feed people and make people happy. When I get out of college, what I want to grow up to be is a lawyer because I love helping people and also it's way more professional than being a pop star. When I get out of college, I want to be an astronaut because I like space and I would like to be the first person on Mars. I'd like to be an engineer. Uh, a firefighter, a bus driver, or a semi-truck driver. I want to be a basketball player. If it doesn't work, I'll try to be a football player. When I graduate from college, I would like to be a nurse because I like helping people and it's nice to help them heal. When I get older, I really want to be a veterinarian or a model. Rarely do we have the chance to witness the school itself as the blank canvas, a building that has yet to be molded, a legacy that has yet to be defined. A legacy that carries in its rafters the hopes and the dreams of the community that came before it, will come after it, and who came together to build it. The kids in this district deserve a brand new building with state-of-the-art equipment, bells and whistles, everything that every other district in the, in the metro area has. And um, I am so excited to see that finally um, happening for the kids here. Um, Am I sad about Fort Logan? Yeah. I think um, part of me is sad. Part of me realizes that, you know, we move on. The Sheridan resident and, and voters, they want the best for the children here in Sheridan. And they've, they've shown that by putting their money out f for this school, and a lot of money and a lot on the line. But they, they did it for the children, and they are looking forward to the future. And uh, as a result, we've got a beautiful building and, and a, a wonderful place for children to learn and and to grow. Originally built as an army post at Fort Logan, the city rests on a strong tradition of pride and resolve. It was 1892 when the area of Sheridan, then known as Petersburg, opened its first school, followed in 1923 when the Fort Logan Schoolhouse first opened its doors, created its legacy as a beacon to the community, a place where people came together to support students, build additions when necessary, and plant the foundations of the rich Sheridan tradition. It was 1952 when Sheridan founded its first high school, Sheridan Union High, followed by the opening of Alice B. Terry six years later. The growing population and economic boom of the area created the demand for additional school space, and in 1967, the community passed the bond to build a new high school, which opened its doors in 1972. We don't want to lose the good things that are part of what makes the Sheridan community and the school district unique. In my mind, we don't want to lose those. Uh, we want to incorporate them and build on them, and I think that's what this will happen. That's what will happen with this new uh, building, kind of changing the direction in which we're going. In the 42 years since the community last opened the doors to a new school building, times have changed. Not only do phones no longer have cords, students carry them to class. 
Record albums have been replaced by iPods, blackboards have been replaced by smartboards, and encyclopedias have been replaced by the World Wide Web. In the time since the high school was built, the doors of Petersburg not only closed, but the building was torn down. The area around its foundations was revitalized by the city of Sheridan, creating the River Point Shopping Center to bring back the economic prosperity of the city. While many things may have changed in Sheridan since the opening of its last new school building, one thing that has been unfaltering throughout the years is the steadfast resolution of the Sheridan community to provide the best opportunities for their students and their future. However, voters took a careful look at the proposal to build a new school and said, no thank you, the first time around in 2011. When it didn't pass the first time, uh, you know, the board and, and the administration, we had to, you know, Mr. Clough and, and all of us, we had to all get together and say, do we really want to go for it again? Uh, it would be so much easier to just say, let, let things be the way they are. And we thought, no, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna fight for this. And if it doesn't pass the second time, you know, we'll get the message. But um, we all agreed that this was uh, a, a chance we could not afford to pass up. We received a message from the voters in 2011 that it was really time to buckle down and get busy. We we heard it loud and clear, and it was really clear that one there was a need for a new school. Our community did not tell us there was not a need for a new school. We had the state of Colorado willing to step up and give us millions of dollars because they saw the need for, this, for the new school. But the community was really clear, not now. And we took that not now message to mean not now that we were not ready and academically we were not achieving in a place that the community could really get behind and a new school and support it. When the proposal came back around on the ballot in 2012, there was more detail behind the plan for a new school and dramatic improvements in academic progress, too. At Fort Logan Elementary, together with Alice Terry Elementary, made the remarkable jump of going from the lowest rating turnaround two marks up to improvement, which is really unheard of. You know, in previous years, the improvement... Just going into the schools from nine years ago there's such a difference i mean they're just they're just more focused they're uh they're more uh into the what what they're in school to be doing they you know just our rounds uh i've seen a, a big difference um just uh just a whole change be not just in the community but on the students too I see the improvements that the school's making, and you, you look at their gradu graduation rate and the involvement that there is in the schools, and, and it's on the, the increase. I think there were some down times uh, a while back, but they're on the rise. Uh, they're coming back. The first paragraph says, the first sentence in the paragraph is the main I what? Idea. Main idea. Now we're going to look for three facts in that and first so paragraph. Together. The community voted overwhelmingly to support these students again, and they overwhelmingly approved the bond that has allowed for the opening of the first new building in this district in 42 years. Fort Logan Northgate School. A place where students and staff will walk through the doors with dreams and walk out with those becoming a reality. We can even talk about in our classrooms how much work was put into getting this building um, started and just all the work that went into it and then to see the final result and the final product it goes back to life skills of what students are able to do although things may not come as easy if we work at it and we keep going towards our goals eventually um, opportunities like this even though people say they're once in a lifetime this opportunity is a great one for Sheridan and it's only because of the hard work that was put in before it was even um, able to come to life. So students are able to do the exact same thing with the hard work and with continually coming to school every day and giving it your best. Their opportunities are limitless. They can do anything um, that they want to do. It's just putting that work in and truly knowing your goals and your desires before you go out and try and impact the world. We have no limits for what our children can accomplish and what they can do and where that they, they can go. You know, the world, the world is their oyster and our job is to get them ready. 
It's really important to have a high quality facility. One, because it's really important in this day and age to be able to have a facility where you can teach 21st century skills. Our Sheridan students have to be able to, to be able to compete with the children that come from the neighborhoods that border us. A high quality first class facility, one, I think most of all, it sends a message to our Sheridan students that you are worth it. You are worth the investment of our community. You're in worth the investment of our leaders. You're in worth the investment of the state of Colorado because quite frankly, our Sheridan kids deserve what our neighbors have. And that's what we've worked very hard to create. Um, and, and that is in a first class facility with a first class education in a 21st century rich technology environment that will be unmatched and unparalleled by anyone. I think the community gave us a new school because they're showing us that they care and um, they're giving us a better education by doing so. I think the new school will give me a better opportunity to learn because there's going to be new technology and more things to learn about. I think that my parents think that we will have better opportunities to choose from in the future in the new school. I think that the new technologies in the school will help us because in the future people think that it's going to be like way more technology and like flying cars. So like if we get an early start on it, it will be like um, so easy in the future. I think as we transition into the new school, the new school will provide students with a new environment and tools needed to be successful in the future. I've heard many times that the environment does make a difference on how kids learn. And I think a brand new school and a brand new environment will definitely play a part in, our, in the learning and our success of our students. This is a transformation for us. You know, we're able to take what it is and, and move forward with it. And I think with the staff, with the students, with the community, with the excitement that's behind it, it's an opportunity for everyone to, if you want, say, you know, just to have a new day. Whatever reputation we've had, it's now gone. And if it's symbolic or if it's literal, then we're gonna use that as a focal point. We're gonna use that as, this is where we are now. You couldn't ask for a better community than what you have right now. You have parents that are very supportive, they want to be supportive, they want to volunteer, they want to do things within the school that will help the students to further them along with their education. To me, this is what you need in a school. You need each one to protect, not to be afraid to stand up and say, hey look, you know what, this isn't right, let's do something about it and I think that this is what Sheridan has. Although there's a huge community surrounding us and huge suburbs, there is no place like Sheridan in the state that I've been to. Um, it's not rural, it's not city, it's just Sheridan. It's just a lovely place to be. This building is so much more than concrete brick and glass. This building is the next school to fulfill the legacy, the hopes, the dreams, the future of Sheridan. I think it's like, uh, like uh, anything else that has history to it that disappears and uh, you have to look at it on the basis of uh, what it was and what it did while it existed and uh, that progress is progress and life moves on and, and you uh, certainly feel that it moves on for the better. Uh, 
time will tell.